Welcome into the New England Sports Center, everybody. We are underway as the Hopkinton Hillers take on the Norwood Mustangs. We're 30 seconds into action. We apologize. We had some technical difficulties, but you haven't missed anything. It is a scoreless game as the Hillers working into Norwood territory. And we get a stoppage. Tom Nappy on the call, Matt Clark on camera. And the Hillers, who typically play on rank one, playing on rank three today. And they will be on this rank all season long. As we have a face off. And it's gathered up by Mara. Taken away. Trying to work up the ice is Kevin Broderick. Sent down to Brendan Gillis. There's a shot turned away. Along the far side goes Norwood. And it's stolen away. Working it up the ice is Joe Carazza. Along the near side now. As Norwood changing up the talent on the ice. So there are a number of differences this season because of the COVID situation. In this game, for example, is that sent out of play off the stick of an unlisted number 14 for Norwood. One of the differences is instead of three periods, they will be playing two 22-minute halves. So we are in the first half of this hockey game between Hopkinton and Norwood. The Hillers had a nice 5-1 to one win to start off the season against Norwood. Up around the far side. Brennan Allen trying to gather it up. Now besides the difference in playing halves compared to periods, there are not too many differences rule-wise. The officials will blow the whistle more often if there are a number of players gathered up in a group just to socially distance them a little bit. But besides that, it's pretty much the same type of hockey you would expect. 1926 left to go in the first half. I'm going to have to get used to saying halves in hockey. We are scoreless between the Hillers and Norwood. That's on the faceoff, sent up the ice by Ed Carroll. Up and around it goes. Gathering it up is Cam Jarrett. And it's taken away, sent back by Ed Carroll. Now Mara gets a stick on it. Sent to the near side by Demarius. Jarrett sends it over to Mara. Back and forth action to start off this game between these two talented teams. Both teams had playoff runs last season. Sent up and around by Ed Carroll. Mira bangs it off the boards. There goes Carroll. And he will shoot and it is wrapped up by the goalkeeper. As Jack Lang in net for the Hillers. And we'll have a face-off in Hopkinton territory. Working his way up the ice, Aiden Walsh. Look out, he has speed, leaves it out. And cutting him off was Brian Mateer. Norwood trying to work it back into Hiller's territory. There's a shot, and it is off the keeper, Lang. We'll get you the starters for the Hillers in just a moment. Your goalie is going to be Jack Lang today. Colin Nord, uh, also a talented goalie. He's the backup. Your lines will be Walsh, Toko, and Barnes. And you'll have Zolotarev, Karatsa, and Mera. 
Also title Moore, Tyler, and Morse. And then on the fourth line, as there's a shot, and it is wrapped up off the stick of Toko. Your fourth line will be Scardacci, DeRocher, and Dacey. Your defensive pairings, Dixon and Sheamus, are the first defensive pairing. Berman and Jarrett, Drew, Morse, and Bianchi are your third defensive pairing. Some of the rules in uh, structure as far as the bench area, you can only have five players and two coaches on the bench. And they all have to wear a mask, of course. Besides that, not many changes in the rules, which is fortunate. A little tired of trying to come away with it. 17-12 and counting left to go in the first half. Mara approaching. He's cut off. And I will repeat frequently, we're playing two 22-minute halves as we get a stoppage along the far side. And I think that's just because you uh, want to try to avoid having players gather up as much as you can. And there's no locker room usage. So it'll set a bit of a quicker pace to the game. As we'll get a face-off here in Norwood territory. Graza in there for the Hillers. Trying to come away with it is Tolman. He'll send it around. There to collect it's Sheamus. Ronnie Sheamus, the captain this season. Along the near side corner. Leiden trying to get to it. Another face-off here, Ryan Title in there for the Hillers. Set back to the blue line, and now Norwood trying to escape with it. Quickly approaching, and Lang gets the stick on it as Spadorcia was nearly going to get an open shot off. Nice job by Lang, reaching out the stick there. And we have a stoppage here. A couple substitutions coming in. And we'll also have an upcoming face-off in Hiller's territory in the left circle. I'd like to welcome in everybody watching today, both from Hopkinton and Norwood. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you. Matt Clark on camera. Of course, fans limited this season. Only home team fans are here. Each player got two lanyards that they could give out to family members or friends to come to the game. And Spadorcia gets to it. Spadorcia battling Cam Jarrett along the backboards. Now there's a shot and it's put in. That is going to be Brian Mateo with the goal. So Norwood strikes first with 16.05 left in the first half. Mateo makes it one to nothing. Actually, I'm going to have a correction there. I believe that was Jake Russo on the goal. Apologies for that. Now the Hillers trying to work it up the near side. Here comes Mara. And Hopkinson strike back, leaves it out in front, but there to cut it off is Russo. Norwood trying to work it back into Hillers territory. Norwood has certainly controlled the possessions so far. A little bit better than the Hillers. Along the near side. Up and around the Norwood net it goes. Sent up the far side, cut off by Jarrett. 
They'll send it down to Mera. Over to the left circle, Carazza looking for a shot and it's going to be wrapped up by Brandon Bartuka, the starting goalie for Norwood. We'll have a face off in Norwood territory in the left circle. And here we go, here comes Norwood. And there's a shot off the stick of Lang. It goes along the backboards now. Handling it is Morse. Trying to get to the corner is Sheamus. Over to the near side boards. Collecting his light and he'll bang it off the boards towards Matea. And now here comes Broderick. And a big collision there between Broderick and Sheamus. Nice job by Sheamus diverting Broderick, who would have had an open break if he was able to get by Sheamus. Lang leaves it out for Cole Dixon, a freshman, a newbie to this varsity team. And the Hillers they had an incredible JV squad last year, too, who had all kinds of success. And we'll get to see a lot of those players that were part of that terrific JV team last year this season. We have a pair of freshmen on the roster and also a handful of sophomores. Here comes Norwood, Ed Carroll trying to approach and it's wrapped up by Lang. We'll get a face off with 13.56 left to go in the first half. And I think you'll see a Whole lot more line changes since we're playing 22 minute halves rather than the traditional 15 minute periods. Is that sent off the netting behind the Hiller's net? Face off upcoming here. There's a shot from the high slot, which was cut off by Zolotarev, who got a stick in there. Over to the neutral zone. And now back into Norwood territory, sent up by Ledger. Banging it off the near side boards is Jarrett. Mera trying to handle it for Hopkinton. Sends it over to Carazza. Out in front, collected by Ledger. And some notes about Norwood. They're led by head coach Chuck Allen. He's done a great job with this Norwood team. As the Hiller's looking for a shot here, Mara, that's off the stick of the goaltender, Bartuka. Along the near side corner, things getting a little chippy with Carazza and Russo. And we'll have a face-off upcoming. And it looks like we're gonna have a penalty as well. They're gonna send Carazza to the box for that little extra push. So Norwood is led by head coach Chuck Allen, who's in his fifth year. Norwood went 14-3-3 last season. And two of their three losses, it was to the Hopkinton Hillers. Jeff Toko in the face-off circle. Sent up by Sheamus. And the Hillers ran the table last season during the regular season for making a playoff run. They won one of their playoff games, then unfortunately fell in the second one. But it was a great effort by the Hillers last year who took home the TVL large title and ran the table. That is certainly an impressive feat, especially in this very competitive TVL. Along the near side towards Leiden. He's banged up along the boards. Chipped away by Lang. Sent up. 
And around. Norwood going to try to clear as Spadorshia gets there. 12-10 and counting left to go in this first half. That's right, we are playing two 22-minute halves this season. Along the boards. Getting in there is Sheamus. Now Jeff Toko diverting there. Sent up the ice, but Orshia will handle it as Norwood makes a couple of changes. Over to the near side. Racing up the ice, Russo. Russo trying to take it around the net. And a nice diversion there by Mara. Here comes Mara. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Bartuka. And I would imagine this Norwood team likes to call Bartuka Tuka, as in similar style to Tuka Rask. Great goaltender for Norwood. Kyle Ledger sends it up. And now here's a shot, turned away by Lang. The pressure is on by Norwood. And it looks like Lang able to wrap it up. Or actually the net came out of place, that was a stoppage. It was Mateer getting that last shot off. And also in on the pressure was Kevin Broderick. So it was a five minute major for Karatza. Out in front of the net, there's a shot and a Norwood goal. And Norwood able to take advantage of the power play. I believe that was Mateo on the goal. So a two to nothing lead for Norwood with 10.48 left to go in the first half. Tolman trying to work it up the far side. And of course, Carazzo still in the box with that five minute major. And of course, when it's a major, you stay in that box even if there is a goal. So the Hillers still a man down here. That sent up the ice. Bartuka leaves it out for Leiden. Over to Russo. Sends it up over to Tolman. Russo. Here comes Miles Kidd. Along the near side, Toko hangs it off the boards, collected by Leiden. Leiden just misses his brother Connor Leiden, and we'll get an icing here. One minute, 50 seconds left on the Norwood power play off the five minute major. And Norwood has already added on one goal so far and leads it two to nothing. Spadorshia sends it around. Along the corner. Here comes Mera. He'll bang it off the glass. Collected by Spadorshia. Mara getting in there, but racing by him is Jack Leiden. Leiden trying to swing it around. And there's a shot, and it's wide. It was off the stick of Kid. Hiller is going to make a pair of substitutions. 
Grazza still in the box for another minute and seven seconds. On the faceoff, it's Mera and Dithmir. Sent back over to Tolman. He sends it over to the far side. There's a shot and a goal by Kyle Ledger. Norwood pouring it on in this first half. That goal comes with 8.49 left. What a wrister by Ledger. And he was able to knock that right into the upper left-hand corner of the net for the goal. An impressive shot there. And we're going to have a timeout called by the Hillers. And we'll talk things over with 8.49 left to go. As Norwood has the 3 to nothing lead. Of course, the Hillers led by head coach Chris McPherson. He's done just an incredible job with this Hopkinton Hillers hockey program. They have just, for the last five years or so, been such a competitive force in the TVL. And obviously this season, it's a little bit limited. Each team will play 10 games or so. There may be a couple more added with some of the TVL teams starting a little bit later due to the situations in their respected towns. So there could be a couple games added, but most teams will play 10 or 12 games. But this year, it's really just about getting the athletes out there. And they are certainly happy to be out there playing the sport they all love. And we are certainly happy to have some hockey this season. Jeff Toko on the faceoff up against Miles Kidd. Still a minute left on the five minute major. So the Hillers still a man down. And so far that has already cost them two Norwood goals. There's a shot by Ledger. It's wide to the left. Lang gets the stick on it. Sent off the boards by Jarrett. And it nearly got by Bartuka. Bartuka almost lost it but was able to gather it up before it got into the danger zone. Here comes Norwood racing up the ice. That was Tolman. He'll send it around. And trying to break through his kid, Miles Kidd. Chips it off the glass. And now it's sent off of Mateer. The Hillers pretty much just trying to keep it away from their zone at this point. Ten seconds left on the five-minute major. And we're going to stop it here with 7.55 left to go in the first half. Mira on the faceoff for the Hillers. Up the near side it goes. Norwood looking for a break here. Sent out in front and another goal! Connor Leiden finds Nick Spadorcia. So Spadorcia on the goal. Leiden on the assist. And just like that, it's 4 to nothing Norwood. And I'd tell you how much time is left, but the clock just shut off. They're trying to fix that now. And of course the officials, they have the stopwatches keeping the time as well. But Norwood is in charge in this one so far. And I can't even remember the last time I've seen this Hillers team down four to nothing. It's been quite a while. They have some great returning talent. They have a number of Young players on the roster that are up and coming. Some of the new faces include goaltender Jack Lang, Cole Dixon, a freshman, Declan DeRocher, a freshman, Joe Scardino, sophomore, Julian Bianchi, a junior, Vasily Zolotarov, a sophomore, Mike Berman. Actually, Berman was on the team last year. 
So seven minutes, 30 seconds left to go. A four nothing lead for Norwood. Trying to break through Karatza. And he'll set it just wide. Along the near side. Gathered up by Ledger. Sent over to Allen. And that's a statewide rule to half situation. Playing halves instead of periods. So all throughout the MIAA, it is two 22-minute halves. As Lang punches that one in the air. Along the near side, collected in the corner by Karatza. Norway looking for another shot. It's turned away by Lang. Getting in there, I believe that was Russo, and it indeed was. Jammed up along the corner as Leiden gets tangled up with Zolotarov. Here comes Mera. There to intercept Ed Carroll. Carroll working his way up, takes a shot, and Lang turns it away. Carroll sends it out, but no one there for Norwood. Karatza got the stick in. Along the corner, jammed up along the boards is Aiden Walsh by Brendan Allen. Mira sends it down over to Karatza. Intercepted by Tolman. Tolman with a wrister off the glass it goes. Jarrett along the near side. Intercepting is Gillis. He sends it wide to the right. Wrapping it around Jarrett. And swooped up in the air, dropped by Jarrett. And knocking it up and around is Gillis. Trying to escape with it, Quentin Barnes. He had a great season last year for the Hillers. Tolman sends it off of Aiden Walsh. And of course the Hillers this year certainly missing uh, Sean Walsh, who was their key player last season. And he graduated, of course, and a wrister there, and yet another Norwood goal. And this time it's Kevin Broderick. Unbelievable. 5-0 Norwood. And that goal comes with 4.54 left to go in the first half. Norwood pouring it on. And title sends it back to Dixon. Well, when you're getting used to a number of new faces like the Hillers are, you're going to have games like this. And from these games, that's when you'll start to make those much-needed adjustments. There's a shot and a save by Lang. Went off his glove. And, of course, uh, one of the hardest things is about not having the periods. Usually you have those two stoppages. This year, pretty much you have one. And, of course, you have a couple of timeouts that you could use. But you don't have that 10-minute break or so a couple times in the game to make adjustments and talk things over as that puck comes flying up towards us. We thought for a minute we were going to have to sacrifice our cameraman, Matt Clark, but fortunately we didn't have to. We'll have a face-off with 4-11 left to go in the first half. A 5-0 lead for Norwood. Karatza on the face-off against Russo. Over to the far side, a ledger. He sends it up. Collected by Berman. Pass up to Karatza. And collision there as Zolotarev got wrapped up with Carroll. Then he's banged up against the boards. And that's popped off the boards by Jarrett. Collected by Carroll. Along the near side. 
And here's a shot just wide off the stick of Berman. Taylor's trying to put some pressure on. Jarrett with a shot out in front. And looking to jam it in was Zolotarev, but it's wrapped up by Bartuka. We'll have a face-off with 3.31 left to go in the first half. Jarrett, there's a shot, and that's chipped away by Bartuka. I think that might have went off of Bartuka's stick. Aiden Walsh trying to get it out of the traffic jam. Pass over to Leiden, and now coming away with it is Barnes. Sends it out, no one's there. Collected by Tolman, who will put it up the far side boards. And we'll have an icing here with 3.01 left in the first. Couple of substitutions for both sides. Ryan Title in on the faceoff for the Hillers up against Sean Dittmier. Along the near side now. He popped off the boards by Dixon. Over to the far side of Morse. And Morse takes a hit into the boards. Collecting it is Tolman. Morse was there to contest. Here comes Dittmier. That shot wide to the right. Lang gets the stick on it and leaves it for Sheamus. Up to the near side corner it goes. And popped up into the air and down the ice. And we'll get an icing. Face off in the Hiller zone to 11 left to go. Nice shot wide by Leiden. Gathered up in the corner by Broderick. Shot by Kidd turned away. Out in front, and we get a whistle here. And that whistle was because the net was dislodged. So they'll fix the net, and we'll have a face off at 153 left in the first half. Sent around by Berman. Berman there to collect. Up to Zoltaroff he goes. Zoltaroff with the touch pass over to Mera. Top of the circle. There's a shot and it's in! In the five hole goes Joe Carrazza! That score comes with 129 left to go in the first half. A beauty of a shot by the sophomore. And that is just the perfect shot right through the five hole. Karatsa wrists it up the ice. A five to one game now. Well, if there's one thing that we've learned over the last couple of years, you can't count this Hillers team out. But they still have a long way to go to get back into this game. Sent over to the far side. There's a shot off of Karatsa. And the stick on it was Carroll. Sent over to Mira. 45 seconds left to go in this first half. They're going to try to swing it around. He finds Dixon. Aiden Walsh along the near side. Almost got the ref there. 
There's a shot by Karatsa off the defender, Kyle Ledger. We get a whistle, we'll have a face-off at the blue line. Offsides there. This face-off comes with 28 seconds left to go in the half. Out in front. Norwood looking to retaliate. There's a shot, and it's just wide from Tolman. And then it's going to be put in on the bounce back. And what a beauty that was. And that was Kevin Broderick with his second goal of the day. And he'll make it a 6-1 game. That goal comes with 13 seconds left in the first half. So Norwood back on top by five. Well, the Mustangs have dominated possession-wise. They've gotten some great shots off. And they'll have a nice lead heading into the second half. The buzzer beater and a glove save by Bartuka. And he quickly let it out, but that's going to do it. For the first half of play after one, it's Norwood six, Hopkinton one. 22 more minutes of hockey left to go. The second half coming up next in moments right here on H Camp. Stay tuned and enjoy some of the scenery here from rink three at the New England Sports Center. And welcome back in to the New England Sports Center, everybody. We are in rank three for the Hopkinton Hillers and the Norwood Mustangs, and we are ready for the second 22-minute, 32nd half. A 6-1 to one lead for Norwood as we start off half number two. And here comes Norwood looking for a shot, and it's in! Going five-hole there is Nick Spadorcia. Nick Spadorcia. Makes it a 7-1 to one game. Well, the goal comes with 22-18 left to go. Off the faceoff. So a nice way to start things off for... Norwood to begin this second half. Leiden sends it over. Looking for Connor Leiden. On the near side, that was Karatza. Over to Sheamus. Sends it across to Dixon. Mara. Knocked up the ice there by Spadorsha. Well, Norwood must be happy so far today after losing a tough season opener to the Hillers on their home ice. They come here to the Hillers home arena. And so far lead it seven to one, looking for a little bit of revenge. And that's gonna be one of the interesting things to watch for this season the fact that it's pretty much a home at home situation where you're playing the same team each week you have your away game and home game against the same team so it's almost like a series so after the first game you'll be used to your opponent and make adjustments and you won't have to wait for a number of weeks to make those adjustments as a beauty of a shot there is going to make it eight to one Ed Carroll on the goal. What a wrister there by Ed Carroll as he goes top left corner. And he makes it an 8-1 to one Norwood lead. The Hillers did make a substitution in the net. Colin Norrid was the goalie to start off the half. Off the face-off. 
Along the near side. Over to Tolman. Tolman sends it up. And the Hillers net it goes. Escaping with it is Allen. Brendan Allen. Barnes gets in there. He'll send it back to Tyler Morse. Now Barnes once again trying to get it up to Toko. Banging it off the boards was Tolman. Well, you just wonder uh, how much practice time that a lot of these players were able to get in heading into the season. Obviously, you had a couple weeks of practices, certainly a shorter time span than usual, but with a lot of arenas closed for much of the pandemic, I'm sure prior to the season, it wasn't too easy to get those skates on and get out there for anybody. As that is sent up by Shea. Up and around it goes. Nord puts a touch on it. Up the near side, Toko sends it over. Racing up the ice more. There goes Toko to the net. And it's turned away. Barnes with a shot. It went off the keeper's leg pad, Bartuka. Dixon pops it off the boards. Barnes wrapped around. The Hillers making a couple changes. Getting a touch on that one was title. And we get a stoppage. I think we had an offsides. Norwood changing things up on the ice. And we'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. Ryan Title in the face-off circle for the Hillers. Miles Kidd for Norwood. Sent around by Sheamus. There goes Moore, and it's wrapped up off the shot. Glove save by Bartuka. Norwood trying to bring it back up. Here goes Mateer. And coming way out is Norwood to turn it away as Mateer was approaching. And the Hiller's net came dislodged. So the official will fix it. Twenty twenty-seven left to go in the game. Eight to one lead for Norwood. Uh-oh, the scoreboard shut off again. They're gonna have to fix that. As we've been mentioning all game long, it's 222 minute and 30 second halves. So they're still playing 45 minutes, but instead of the three 15 minute periods, you have just the halves this year. Cuts down on players gathering, it up, gathering up and time uh, people are in the building, of course, makes the game go by a little faster. So that was the reason they did that. And also, I'd imagine here at the New England Sports Center, they have, uh, or pretty much every arena, they have a number of teams that they maybe normally wouldn't have. They're hosting a number of teams maybe they normally wouldn't have because there are arenas around the area that are closed. So they set the clock at 18.27 left to go. Out in front of the net. I think part of that was the clock was supposed to keep running since Norwood's up by seven or more. So they took a couple minutes off to get rid of that 
stoppage time. Because once a team goes up seven or more, that clock keeps running. Or perhaps not, because it did stop now. Well, the faceoff in the Hiller zone. Rots against Dittmere. I don't know if they're doing the running clock rule this year. We'll have to find that out. Tolman sends it up and around. And Jarrett lost his stick, so uh, he had to kick the puck with his, state, uh, with his skate. Along the far side, here comes Mara. And we get an offsides. Both teams changing up the talent on the ice. Back to Morse. Over to Jarrett. Sent up to Toko. Barnes wraps it around. Handled by Toko. There's a shot a little wide there. Barnes wraps it back towards the near side. Jammed up along the corner. Toko takes a big shot. Out in front. Norwood able to clear. Along the far side goes Tolman. Collected by Morse. Sent over to Walsh. Aiden Walsh gets it up to Jarrett. Here comes Leiden. Takes a hit from Toko. Sheamus sends it over to Moore. Here comes Andrew Moore, and he is going to have a collision with a pair of Mustangs. On the far side, that's Spadorcia. Jim doing battle with title. Up to Moore. Over to the blue line, there's a wrister and a save off the stick of Sheamus. Norwood will change things up. And we'll have a faceoff with 16 minutes left to go in the game. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Bartuka. Nice shot there by Moore. Hiller's putting some pressure on. Sent up and around by Tyler Morse. Popped up and settled down by Sheamus. And he goes wide to the left there. Along the far side now. Berman sends it up to Zolotarov. Zolotarov racing in. And he was looking to get a shot off. And that shot by Mare a little wide. Up behind the net it goes. Mare trying to dig it out of the corner. Sends it up there to collect with Broderick. He'll send it over to the near side. Stolen away by Carazza. Mara now. Pass up towards Zolotarov. He's jammed up. Mara gets in there and is able to get it out of the traffic jam as he popped it up into the corner. Miller's starting to put a little bit of pressure on. Certainly more pressure than we saw for much of the first half. Sent up to Gillis. Bangs it off the boards into the Hiller's zone as Norwood makes a change. Collected by Shea who sends it over. Over to the near side corner and that'll... Force the whistle as we'll get a nicing. Nice 
14-17 left to go in the game. An 8-1 lead for Norwood. It was a 6-1 first half. Norwood has netted another pair of goals here in the second. Trying to race up the ice is Demarius. There's a shot. Wide to the right goes Tolman. Sent up and around by Shea. Barnes over to Morse. On the side of Toko. And Barnes takes a shot there. All kinds of good hits going on along the far side as things getting a little chippy between Walsh and Tolman. And that'll be the other interesting thing to watch with the fact that you have the same opponent in back-to-back -back games in most cases. It's not all cases throughout the TVL, but in most cases that's how they scheduled it. How chippy will things get in that second game? Especially when you have a good rivalry like Hopkinton and Norwood who appear as if they'll split the series and the Hillers, they were penalized, a two-minute penalty. So a two-minute power play for Norwood. Ledger. That's sent up into the Norwood zone. And it was Aiden Walsh who's in the penalty box. And I think that was for that little extracurricular activity we saw earlier with Tolman. And we'll have a face-off in the Hillers zone. We're having a a little difficulty with the scoreboard today as it shuts off once again. Well, coming up tomorrow on HCAM, we'll have more Hiller sports for you. We'll have a double dose of Hopkinton Hiller's boys basketball as they take on Norwood. We'll have the JV game at 1230. Followed by the varsity game at 2 p.m. Some Sunday afternoon TVL basketball right here on HCAM. You'll be able to find all the Hillers home games that we cover on our HCAM Ed channel or our YouTube page. YouTube.com slash HCAM TV. On the far side now, trying to dig it out, Mara. Here goes Mara quickly approaching. There's a shot and a goal for Pavit Mara. Or was it? It looked like it went right off the back of the net. But was there a stoppage before? Looks like they're going to wave it off. No goal. Not quite sure what the reasoning was. But they wave it off. I think the net might have been dislodged. And the official had a stoppage pretty much right as Mara went to shoot it. The scoreboard is currently off. They've been having difficulties with it throughout the afternoon. Of course, the officials keeping track of the time on their stopwatches. We would imagine there's about... 13 minutes left or so. Here comes Leiden. It remains an 8-1 to game that almost goal by Mero waved off. That was a great shot, though, by Pavi Mero. He'll be a player to look out for the sophomore. He had a great year last year. He really started to shine as the season went on. Zolotarov gets it over to the far side as he was... Under pressure, Spadorcia sends it back over. Now racing up the ice is Russo. He'll take a shot from Carazza. Into the neutral zone now. Getting in there is Zolotarev. And he went to set it up to Mera. We get a stoppage here. 
And it looks like we make it a tripping call as well. We indeed will. Karatsa is going to head to the box for two minutes off the tripping call. So Norwood will have their third power play opportunity of the day. Sent up and around over to the near side corner. Barnes trying to dig it out. Over to the blue line. Sheamus. Sends it up the far side. Shea tracks it down. Racing up to the near side is Dooley. Not able to get in there, Aiden Walsh. Hiller's a man short with the power play. Off the tripping call. Trying to get away with it, Broderick. And we'll have a face off in the neutral zone with the offsides call. And it'll be at center ice. Title up against Kidd. Patuka sets it up. Racing up the ice, here comes Gillis. There's a shot sliced into the glass around the end boards. And jammed up along the corner. We'll get a face off. Oh, well, we're not quite sure the exact amount of time left on the power play since the scoreboard is not cooperating today. I think I heard someone just say 30 seconds. We'll go with that. That sounds about right. Nice. Caleb Dacey on the faceoff for the Hillers. Along the near side. Sent up by Sharkey. Along the corner, that is Morse. And slicing it into Norwood territory, Cam Jarrett. Trying to turn it around, Tolman. Solman puts it into Hiller's territory. There's a shot from the blue line, and it's wrapped up by Norid. On the shot was Ed Carroll, the defenseman, freshman for the Mustangs. Certainly uh, chilly here in rink three today. They're keeping this arena ice cold, you might say. Demarius trying to get it out of the traffic jam for Norwood. Out in front and a backhander just wide there. That was off the stick of Miles Kidd. Over to the blue line, looking for another shot, and it is going to be turned away by Norrid. And blown dead after the fact. I think he had it wrapped up, so we'll have a face-off. Declan DeRocher was in there for the Hillers. Hopkinton trying to clear the zone. Along the near side, Dixon. Just push into the boards, Leiden. Trying to get by DeRocher. And there comes Curran. It's 
Sent over to Berman. Along the far side. Off the boards, collected by Leiden. Sent up and around by Curran. And Dacey getting in the way of Leiden. Along the near side corner now, Morse. Sends it up to Tyler Morse. Now back over to Andrew. And Toko takes a shot along the near side boards. And along the far side, Sheamus will take a shot. Sheamus jammed up by Connor Leiden. Along the far side, Barnes racing up the ice. He'll draw a shot. Spadorcia got in there. Now Gillis. On the far side, that's Ledger. Pass over to Gillis. Toko looking for a shot, and it is a glove save. And in the net for Norwood, by the way, that's Ethan Barrows, who recently just came in. Norwood leading 8-1. to one. We're not quite sure how many more minutes are left here in this second half as the scoreboard is malfunctioning. If I had to guess, I don't know, five minutes or so, I will say. But I... Really, I'm not too sure. Scoreboard started malfunctioning with about 18 minutes left. And now it's off. Into Hiller's territory. Well, we got it back on. Maybe we'll get to see how much time is left. And we'll have an icing call here. Face off in the Norwood zone. There's a shot, and it's tipped up in the air off of Barrows. That was a nice slice by DeRocher. Five minutes, 34 seconds left to go. Look at that. I was right on the money. Along the far side, collected by Mateer. Swung up and around by Broderick. Over to Bianchi. There goes DeRocher. Pops it over to the corner. Mara sends it out. No one there. Shea. Mara getting in there. And there's a shot a little wide from Moore. Out in front. Backhander by Mara is turned away by Barrows. And sent off the glass just in front of us. And Norwood able to get it into Hiller's territory. Well, the Hillers have had a much better second half than the first. It was a 6-1 to one first half in favor of Norwood. And in the second half, it's a 2 to nothing half in favor of Norwood. So certainly not the half the Hillers would like to have, but they have certainly improved here in the second frame. Racing up the far side, Sheamus. And of course, in uh, MI... Double A hockey this year, you'll only have two frames, two halves, each 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Four minutes, 10 seconds left to go. Face off in Norwood territory. In the right circle. Sent over to Berman, and he'll take the shot. We'll lie to the right there. Leiden grabs it, sends it up. 
Jarrett. Collected by Leiden. Up in around the far side it goes. Jarrett leaves it for Toko. Togo with a nice move there. Working his way up into Norwood territory. Into the circle towards the net, and it's turned away as he tried to get the shot off. Lyon got his stick in there. Backhander by Sharkley to get it into the neutral zone. Here's Jarrett. Up the far side he goes, approaching. Out in front, and it is turned away. The net came dislodged. And we got some extracurricular activity going on here as Quinton Barnes was getting into it with Cahill. And I think we might have a five minute major here. Possibly an ejection as well. Looks like there was a shot thrown and the officials are not too happy. And we will indeed have an ejection. Quinton Barnes will head out of the game. Tense situation there. It's the last thing you want to see. And there's a number of penalties on both sides with 3.03 left. But, you know, you got a couple more minutes left. It's great that there's even the opportunity to play this season. The last thing you want to do is get yourself an ejection and possibly get suspended for a game or two. And then miss the opportunities to get out on the ice. And as, especially this year where there's not as many as a typical season. So right now, it looks like there's three in the Norwood penalty box. One in the Hopkinton penalty box. But we do know that there's already been one Hiller ejected. So the officials and coaches working out the situation. The officials letting know, letting the coaches know what happened and who it happened to. Don't forget we have Hiller's boys basketball against Norwood tomorrow afternoon. JV game at 12.30, varsity game at 2 p.m. A big thank you to everyone tuning in right now. All the fans from Hopkinton and, of course, all the fans from Norwood. A great rivalry building between Norwood and Hopkinton. It should be a whole lot of fun to watch over the next few years, both on the basketball courts as well as the ice. And if you watch last night, the... Norwood girls took down the Hillers in the varsity matchup. Hillers got the win in the JV game, but both games were tremendous battles that went all the way down to the end. And what a way to open up the season it was for the Hillers and Norwood girls last night on the basketball court. Great battles in both games. And we'll have a face-off in the Hiller zone. It looks like Norwood is going to be short a man. So one in the penalty box for Norwood is the difference. On the far side, picked up by Mara. Here goes Mara. And his shot is diverted, but he sticks with it. Along the near side corner now. Mara lost it. And it's stolen away by Gillis. Working up the far side. The scoreboard is back off again, so I think at this point they'll probably just give up, but 
Little uh, over two and a half to go, I would say. Up behind the net, and we get a stoppage. We'll have a face-off. Wonder if that was one of those grouping situation whistles. That is one of the new rules this season. If there's a big pile of players, you'll hear the whistle more frequently. They're trying to avoid gatherings of players in a certain area as much as they can. Actually, now we're going to have a Hiller's penalty here. So we'll be at even strength. Or will we? No, looks like Norwood has another one going to the box as well. Or do they? Yeah, he goes back into the box. So it'll be a four on three situation. And we're not sure if this is from something else that happened or if it's from the earlier incident and they didn't have the right amount of players out there. Sheamus. Here comes Mara. It's been a bit of a chippy game between these two. I think the, both teams will be happy to get out of here tonight. As there's certainly been some uh, tense play out there. And obviously with the Hillers, they're probably frustrated as this game has not gone their way. So that could be part of it. Dixon leaves it in the slot. Mara trying to get the stick on it. But there was some, certainly some unnecessary shots on both sides, that's for sure. But this is a big rivalry building between these two teams. And they're both very physical teams. And when... You got two physical teams going at it. Cheap shots and some extracurricular activity is bound to happen. As there's a shot by Mara, glove saved by Barrows. An 8-1 to one lead for Norwood. As we are in the closing moments of this game. We're not quite sure exactly how much time is left since the scoreboard is malfunctioning. But... I wouldn't imagine much more than a minute left. And title on the faceoff. Out in front, and it is going to be wrapped up. And the Hillers were challenging as title was saying he was able to put it in, but the official says no goal. I'd love to see the replay on that one. Popped off the near side boards. Sent up and around into Hiller's territory. Collected by Jarrett. And we're going to go back to Norwood territory. Icing is the call. That was a pretty late icing call there. On the faceoff for the Hillers, Ryan Title. There's a shot turned away off the stick of Toko. Along the near side. Jammed up along the corner now. Out in front, Toko is going to be knocked down. And a big shot along the near side as Cam Jarrett met up with Max Sharkley. And there's a shot off the side of the net. It goes off the stick of Demarius. Sent over into Norwood territory as Jarrett pops it off the glass. 
Backhander by Sharkley as he takes a shot. And that is going to do it, I believe. And it will indeed. That is the end of this game. And the Norwood Mustangs are going to come away with a very impressive 8-1 to one win against the Hopkinton Hillers. Well, it was a tense game, but this looks like it'll be a great rivalry for many games and seasons to come. The final score for the final time, Norwood 8, Hopkinton 1. And, of course, in the COVID days, this is the new handshake, a little show of respect from both sides. And we look forward to perhaps seeing this battle happen again this season. But for Matt Clark on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll talk to you again soon. Have a good weekend, everybody.